Hello everybody out there, Dr. Randy Wirtz in Thrive Chiropractic here at home base, right up here on, on uh, right off of Polaris. I had to think, I forgot where I was at. Thought I was at home for a second there. But hey, moms, I'm hearing this more and more. And this is, I really want to just have a connection with you right now, if I may, just to talk to you directly. And I know this might seem strange coming from a, a man or a guy or a guy doctor. I just want you to ask you to put that aside and really just listen with your heart right now because I see this um, so often. I'm seeing it more and I'm hearing it more as well. And that is, this is the phase that your child is going through. It's just a phase that your child's going through right now. And I look at the mom directly in the eye and I look at him and I say, do you think it's a phase? No, that's what they say, they, they know. Uh, what's your heart telling you? They say something's wrong with my child. And I want to tell you, believe that. Listen to your intuition. It's there for a reason. It's there to tell you something is not right with my child. Something is wrong with the child. And let's face it, phases don't last four months. Phases don't last two weeks. Phases don't get worse. Phases get better. I understand that there's times where a baby's going to be teething and they're going to be having some issues, but that's explainable. And you understand, hey, teething is explainable. Or they might have some colds and they're going to get over and it takes like two or three, four days to get over it. I live that life. I've seen that with my daughter um, before. The teething, the, uh, the colds that she gets and those things as well. Those are phases. I got it. Colicky for four months is not a phase. Growing out of it for six months, so they'll grow out of it for six Six months is not a phase. Reflux is not a phase. It will carry on through life. Plenty of research on that too that's gonna to validate what you are already seeing as well. You know, when the clen when the fists are clenched and they're and they're grimacing on their face and they're arching their back, not a phase. That baby is stuck in stress. For some reason, it could have been even before baby was born, um, just the stress, or it could be a lot of times during birth. Um, where a baby's stressed or they have a strain or, or issues with their neck. If the baby's in NICU, that's a bond issue where that baby's not bonding with mother, they seem separated and I hear more and more moms come to me and say, yeah, my baby was in NICU, I can tell there was a disconnect. I can tell that there was something going on and that stressed my baby out and that had an effect on my child afterwards too. So those carry on. And that first part, you know, that baby's starting to program and starting to imprint into you and their environment. And they're gonna say, is this a happy environment or is this a stressful environment? And if they're already predetermined that this is a stressful environment, that the world's not a safe place, they're gonna be on a high stress. Their nerves are gonna be up here. They're gonna clinch, they're gonna protect themselves, they're gonna draw their knees up to their chest when you hold them. They're not gonna be nice and flaccid like a baby should be. You know, that's what we start to look at. And when we start to see this more and more happening, I want you not to get confused with common equaling normal. Common does not equal normal. You know, a lot of times people come to me, I sit my common everyday headache, you know, but it's not normal to have headaches, right? And it's not normal for your baby to arch their back, clench, reflux, colicky, be sick um, uh, chronically all the time. You know, they're gonna have bouts of sickness, but it's not normal, okay? It sets the stage up for what's gonna happen later in life. And that's what I want to make sure that I'm talking to you and talking with you about. So, what I'd like to ask is, hey, comment. And this has been your experience, let me know. And I know this takes a lot of courage to do this. And by all means, if you do not feel comfortable, let me know. But I wanna know, hey, how often are you getting this? How often are you getting told by, you know, maybe people around you, pediatrician or other people that you know they have, it's just a phase. But in your heart, you know it's not a phase. You know that there's something that's not right, that our baby is, needs to be healthy and that you need to do something about this, but you don't know where to turn. And that's where it can be very disheartening um, when a doctor says it's just a phase. Because what it does is it says, I just don't believe you. I don't, this is something going on. Let's check into it a little bit more. Maybe that doctor doesn't have the answers, but maybe you should go to some place that, that does. Um, maybe look at their body a different way or look at your child a different way. And by all means, you know, do that. But above all, listen to your heart's mom. Listen to your wishes. 
to intuition, it's going to serve you well when you're talking about your children and when you have your children's best interest and the safety and their health in mind as well. Hey moms, God bless you. God bless all that you do. Thank you for being such wonderful parents and moms. I appreciate you. I love seeing you in here um, when you come in with your children um, and we're able to get them healthy and you can sit there and say, ah, I knew it. I knew I was right. And I can say, yes, you are. Hey, take care. Hope this was one, uh, fabulous uh, and you had some validation for you. And I want you to have a great day, great weekend, and great year to come. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.